Hey everyone, I'm Alicia from A Music Blog Yeah, and I'm here with Xavier Red and the United Nations. Welcome. Uh -huh. Thank uh -huh. you. Hello. <laughs> so you're currently in Toronto tonight for Canadian Music Week. So how has this experience of coming over here and just kind of enjoying yourselves been for you so far? It's been a beautiful day, eh? I've been we came from all this stuff. We've only done two shows in Canada on this run. It's mostly America, and we haven't been to Canada much for a long time. And Alicia. It's never been to Canada, so this is our first time for some, for a lot of the band and sun shining, birds are singing. Ain't Definitely. nothing wrong. Well, welcome. <laughs> well, you're touring in support of your latest record release, and this is actually the first record that is the debut as Xavier Rudd and the United Nations. So, just what was the experience like creating this debut with each other? Yeah, it was. Well, for me, it was. You know, it was different. You know, I've biggest band I've ever played was three piece and I'm known a lot for playing solo but um, I've always wanted to put together a big band like this um, and I've been patient with that concept so it's um it's amazing it's a beautiful family of good people and uh, we all come from a different background different story and we're able to share that on stage how's it for you it's a great experience um, yeah, I think it's just like Zabe was saying that everyone in the band really loves each other and we're all a family, we all look after each other and um, and we make good music, so it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, being that there are eight of you, it totals up to eight in this band now, when it came to recording the record together, what was it like having all of those different influences or inspirations? Very powerful. Uh, it felt, for me, I was always say people ask me how this band came together and I guess yes I put it together but it feels more like all of our ancestors had a cup of tea <laughs> and went right let's put all these people <laughs> together, together because there was no auditions there was no it was just pretty much we put it out there and all the right people came and to the table and it's, yeah it's a very powerful um, little tribe so I feel like we really respect that you know Uncle Eddie says a prayer every night before we go on and we we really respect the, you know, our ancestors and the spirit of, of the project. And you know, everyone coming from that different story brings their cultural influence to the music, but we, we sort of put it all on one table and, it, and it, it's, yeah, it's a groovy, unique vibe, you know, it's got its own, it's got its own sound. It's reggae music, eh, but it's got its own, it's not, it's not standard. Yeah. Yeah. Reggae. Well, being that for yourself, that there are more, and you're usually used to working solo on the past seven records, do you mm. find that it's easier working with more people? Uh, it's just different, you know. I'm, I'm loving it. I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, it's different for me, though, because it's, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a lot less. I'm making a lot less sound, more so just trying to be minimal and fit in places you know in the mix without taking up too much real estate you know I don't want like so that everyone can breathe and everyone can do their thing you know mm -hmm. so we are bringing the record to Toronto tonight at the Opera House yeah yeah a little taste a little taste of what's to come yeah. um yeah so just as far as what you're playing tonight what do both of you look forward to playing the most off of the new album um I think myself I always look forward to um Nana simply because uh, Georgia sings the song beautifully every night and I don't think that there's been a show where I haven't cried simply because she's like she's singing back to her children at home and um and I think it's a song for everybody really anyone that you're close to you sing that song to them to tell them sort of that you miss them or that you're thinking of them that you love them so it's like a connection to to our family so that's a song that I look forward to singing every night nice yeah yeah, I, I reckon I'll back that up. It's, yeah, it's it's very it's a, that's a a powerful experience, and it kind of when she you know when she brings out it sort of like it, 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 all in one she encompasses the the message, the title, the the journey of the record and the band. You know, so yeah, I agree. No, no. Well, being now it's festival season, of course, things are kicking off in Toronto with CMW. If you both could curate your own festival, who would be part of that lineup? 
<laughs> Are we having a Anybody you'd like. Together I'd you probably, can fly solo, you can go together. I'd probably have Hendrix headline. Bring him back, Uncle. Uncle Jimmy. That'd be cool. Um I'm not sure. What about the sister from Australia you were showing me? Mama um Oh yeah. Uh What's her name? Alpha Mama. Alpha Mama. Yeah. Check out Alpha she's Mama. She's, she's Australian. Awesome. Shout out to Alpha Mama. She's <laughs> uh, she's an Australian artist. She sings. Yeah, I'd probably have her on the lineup as well. Oh, so it's midnight has to be on the lineup. Yeah. Um, I love Diana King. I'd love to have Diana King on there. Bobby Alou. Bobby the Alou. Bobby Alou band. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Yeah. You? Nice. What would I have in mind? No, would you play? Would I play? Yeah. I could try to play. play. Yeah. I could come up, sing some harmonies with you guys. Why yeah, not, right? No worries. The two Elisas. Beautiful. <laughs> well, to wrap things up, you were just watching your sound check inside. It looks like you guys have already formed this amazing chemistry with one another. So what would you say is the best part about being in this band? I think it's like Alicia said, it's a, it's a family, you know. It's, it's Everybody loves each other. Everybody respects each other. Even our crew, you know. It, we all, you know, we're all, we're all respectful and we all come with an understanding of, of one people, you know. It doesn't matter what our bloodline is and, and what stories have happened in the past. We want to see positive change and unity between human beings worldwide. And that's kind of the message that we carry with our band. Awesome. Well, that wraps everything up. I just want to say thank you very much to both of you just for your time today. We really appreciate it. And thank you very much. And remember, everybody, for all exclusive interviews with your favorite bands, you can visit us at www.amusicblogia.com. We'll see you next time.